Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out Ali G. Hopefully you guys having a fantastic day. I'm really looking forward to this movie, man, because I really enjoyed Borat. I don't know why I will enjoy this one either. A few people suggested some of his other movies as well, so we'll see how far those make it up on the poll for me to check out. But yeah, man, the next movie coming up will be Kevin and Perry, Go Large. Look forward to checking that one out as well, man. So we're going to be through this list pretty soon, and I'll have a poll up for like the next set of movies. Because we have, I think, after this one, there's three more, and that'll be the end of February, and we'll have a poll before, what do you call it, the next movie hits. Before the next Sunday circles around, we'll have another movie ready to check out based on that poll. So yeah, man, I really look forward to jumping into Allergy, man. I don't know anything about the movie, just like the other ones you guys suggest. I like to jump in completely blind as to what's going on. But at least I know who Allergy is because I watch enough clips and stuff like that online. The whole thing is, just like when I watch Borat, how much of the clips were actually from the movie. You know what I mean? That I've reacted to. So yeah, man, let's just go ahead and jump into this, folks. We'll talk about it more in the end. Ale. My little friend said he saw you with Ramon Camacho. It ain't true, Rico. Shut up, and these girls belong to me. Belong? That is a very sexist way to talk about these bitches. <laughs> you need his ass beat. Speak to the ant, cause the face, it ain't listening. Mandalo! Let's do it. So this dude has to be dreaming or something. This is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> is the most important gift that Jai has given us. Yeah. Let me help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> is he wearing green? I knew it. You was defected to the Ivy Eve posse, innit? Come on, let's stab him. Run away! <laughs> my mommy, she put me yellow top in the wash with my brother's blue oh, football socks, even though they're colour fast. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's but stab him. That slack, that in the ghetto, washing non-colour fast synthetics at 60 degrees could cost you your life. Everybody up, because it's time to give out this week's badges. First, big it up for my main man, Andy, who has finally got his hot wiring badge and his advanced swearing badge. Oh my god, it's doing his ass beat. And since you has got your fifth badge, you has also earned your second slit. Hopefully one day you'll get to be Tyrone's level. Tyrone, if you get any better, we's gonna have to start doing your pubes, alright? I don't have any. Well, I've got <laughs> now, remember without realness, we is nothing. It's about the center. Now, I know how much these classes mean to you and and how much the kids enjoy them. But I'm afraid the government's withdrawn our funding. They're closing down the John Nike Leisure Center. You what? <laughs> how is these kids meant to make it out the ghetto now? Hit you with this dramatic ass music. <laughs> oh, baby, I've been missing you so much today. You was looking so fine. All I want to do is pull your panties down. The Ali? Side. Oh, hello, my Julie. Stop feeling up, Nina, and get in here. Oh, my God. Stranger, <laughs> you never get confused with Tracy, innit? Hello. Jesus Christ. Hello. <laughs> you know you was me only, bitch. Ho. Oh. <laughs> When we close my eyes, it was the only girl me Jesus. ever think about. Mr. G, why are you on hunger strike? In the struggle for... In the struggle for justice, I was willing to lay down my life. Just like Martin Luther Van Trost did. Have you ever considered becoming a member of Parliament? What we want to do that for? It's full of pricks. <laughs> it's a little harsh. I'm an MP and I'm a prick. Yes. <laughs> Let's try approaching it from a different angle. <laughs> yes. Is there nothing in the world that you would like to change? Yeah, we'd want to save the John Nike Leisure Center, obviously. Later, sweetheart. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, great job playing it all. <laughs> David. Terrible. What are you doing? He was the biggest idiot I have ever met. Choose him and there is no way we can win the by-election. I know. But there'll be a leadership crisis, a vote of no confidence. The PM will be out. And who could possibly replace him? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. Vote for me. Because <laughs> we know what you lesses want. Oh, God. I'm a big supporter of your cause. And I've got many, many of your videos. If you vote for me, me give you me pledge to lower taxes on strap-ons. <laughs> Why are you getting so eggy? Is you all on? <laughs> oh, shit. Ali G has been duly elected as Member of Parliament for Staines. Baby, you're so long and hard. That's the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Senior. <laughs> Do you want to know how I make this country better? It's simple. Two words. Keep it real. That's three words. Don't be a spanner. It ain't a real word. <laughs> in it, in it. Keep it Real. The member Keep for Staines will real. be banned from the house. Listen, Ali, I ain't never been to nothing like this before, so don't leave me on my own tonight, all right? Don't worry, baby. <laughs> Julie. What are you doing up here with me? Why don't you just stay downstairs with that posh girl? We was just talking about the politics. I ain't interested <laughs> in what you've got to say. Just shut up. We, we won't speak no more. <laughs> hey, we can't. This is the PM's bedroom. Why don't you pretend to be the Prime Minister, then? Cheek. President Muepu, would you care to join me upstairs? A pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, oh. Enjoy that. <laughs> Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I want everyone here to know that President Muwepu here is a very no. big man. I was in a deep hole. Yes, but even oh, though no. we have some stupid patches, I'm delighted to say we came together finally in the end. Oh. everything that you had to offer. Now, paper, would you care to join me upstairs? Oh, shit. So <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh shit, so no gross. <laughs> oh shit. Showing him having perverse sexual intercourse with an unknown prostitute. That ain't no prostitute, that's me hoe. As of 11 o'clock this morning, the Deputy Prime Minister David Jesus Cumberland Christ, man. will be acting as Prime Minister. <laughs> what the fair? That weren't the PM. You ain't gonna get away with this. If you keep your mouth shut, I'm. Willing to be very generous. This is where Fubu everything. <laughs> Stand. I wanna... <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> Give me your fuel injection. This ain't right. Here, set it to vibrate and finish yourself off. Him and all gangsters, there is some serious shit going down. The Prime Minister check it has been chucked out by a geezer who is a massive dong he is even more eviler than skeletor <laughs> Please. is he respect to all of you for wearing your camouflage it will help you go undetected <laughs> now let's go to checkers and rescue Jesus. that tape let's do this for britain the tape is in the pm's office in a safe Right? First up, Ricky, Dave, and me will go in. <laughs> Jesse, you stay here. We're going to be like the A-team. 
Why has you got to build this terminal over Staines? Because I have bought 600 acres of land there. Can I have those, please? And I've forgotten to put on the air supply. Why don't you just nip outside now and stick it on? <laughs> you know, you really are unbelievably stupid. Oh, shit, right? <laughs> In that cave. <laughs> Ricky and Dave. You got the gun there, dude. Come on. Who's that? Ricky? Oh my god. <laughs> we thought if we was gonna die, we might as well give it a go. Well, what's it like? It's not bad, you know. Dave? Oh shit. Quite nice, actually. <laughs> this layer. Now we've got to save stains. My dream was tarnished, and instead I discovered greed, avarice, and corruption. Boring! Oh, <laughs> arrest him. Oh shit. I'm just like, how long is this piece gonna go? Enjoy your life with this fool. You two deserve each other. Piss off. Oh, nice! And you can rest assured, Ali, we're not going to build Terminal 5 over Staines. We're going to demolish Slough instead. I'm in lady. Oh, my God. Them in this kiss. Man. This was a really goofy movie. It was really goofy, silly, fun, stupid. It was just it felt like a movie I would watch when I was in high school in the early two thousands. That's what it felt like to me. Like you know, like the Van Wilders and stuff like that. That's what it felt like. Just just goofy and silly for no freaking reason. A bunch of dick and fart and ball jokes, sex jokes, things like that. Early teenage me would have loved this movie, and like I would have probably been killed over laughing. Yeah, they got a lot of laughs out of me now as an adult. So it still shows how I've barely matured. Like this is definitely something that would have been up my alley when I was in high school me and my friends this is fantastic it was really 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 silly it was super wacky there's not a whole lot to say just that it was a goofy ass movie this isn't one, uh, like one of those movies that I think you should expect much out of the only thing I was only expectation I went into this thinking was that it was gonna be similar to like the Borat kind of what you like mockumentary kind of style like him going around just fucking the people like I've seen him doing the videos I didn't know it was gonna be this type of almost like goofy teen raunchy style movie you know what I mean good goofy scenes in this man the opening scene when it was like a movie when a dude I was like, when he got shot in the leg, I'm like, what the hell is that? It's supposed to be his, his dick. I'm like, yo, this dude is out of control. Jesus Christ. And him letting his dog keep licking and him punching the dog. That cracked me up. And when old boy, I, it's some jokes you can just see coming. When the old man was like stroking the pole, blind with a dog, I'm like, he's going to stroke this dude. I thought he was going to stroke with his pants. I expected him to get pants. But I was like, oh, no. I know it's about to happen. So some jokes you can just see coming in this movie. It was definitely a lot, a lot of goofy stuff. I, I knew that girl was going to come in and try to like seduce him eventually. Didn't expect him to turn it down. All the dramatic music and all that kind of stuff lean up to like these silly plans or these silly moments. Just it just it was goofy, man. It, it was it was funny and fantastic. Even him getting into Parliament and like everybody loving him just like that. It's like this is just silly as shit. And the music playing and everything like that triumphant music. It was it really like I said really felt like that late '90s, early 2000s like Van Wilder road trip kind of like feel to it. Just really goefy, wacky shit happening. And like I said, I'm down for it. I love those movies growing up. Haven't seen them as an adult. Have not watched them over in a long time. I've actually thought about rewatching them, man. Just see how much I'll still, I'll still enjoy them, you know? Jesus. Those movies are so old now. Some of those movies are like 22, 23 years old. And that's how long it's been since I've seen them. So yeah, I've really thought about going back and rewatching some of those goofy ass movies. I can still enjoy every genre of comedy, man. Slapstick, dick and fart dark humor sophisticated humor i can enjoy it all i don't really put myself in like this box i think it just takes fun you just slowly pulling yourself out of categories you can enjoy you know in regards to comedy there are some genres i just don't enjoy i don't really enjoy romance films you know um so i can't knock people for not liking this dick and fart kind of stuff all right folks that is it that is all for this one hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy i'll see you in the next one later